series is another time on gusto news on gusto tv and of course it's still this particular lady ifel lua and yeah i'll say thank you to you guys for all you do for us cannot thank you guys enough thank you for the likes thank you for comments thank you for telling people about gusto please keep doing so and if you're new to this channel please click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell yeah, today on the news, I have bad boy teams in the building. Yeah, and of course, his um, record label is also in this news. That's Anonymous Music. And as well, I have uh, Mama Adeja. That's um, Simi. Yeah. So starting off this news with um, bad boy teams. A couple of weeks ago, a video made its way to social media. Some blogs were sharing it. And in this video, it's um, it's alerts in the video, although it was dark, so in the night, yeah, so people could not see whose face it really is. But of course, looking at the video and the caption on so many blogs, it would be, you know, we could say that, okay, this is bad boy Tim's. And of course, he was working in the company of police officers, his hands handcuffed and all of that. And this made it with social media and, you know, talking about, um, the allegations that he is, you know, in a tussle between himself and his record label and also a show um, events company or probably, you know, event organizers. Yes, um, different things came up from that. So it was like, oh, maybe he's collected money, he's, you know, his label is not aware and he didn't even go to perform and all of that. This held, you know, conversation for a couple of hours. Then another blogger put up um, another video of himself having a good time with friends and we could see him you know somebody in the background of the video saying oh they said you've been arrested and um, you know you've been taken to the police station because of the crime you, con you know, committed against your label and the show organizers and all of that and he went oh he's here of course him with his cap at the behind his head and dancing and having a good time like you guys i don't know where you got that story from but really that story is for you guys yes so that was a way of him debunking the first video that look nothing of such happened and of course i mean that was able to kill that first video as you know a lot of bloggers started reposting again and say oh bad boy Tim's is fine he's not the one in the video and all of that but with the look of things at the moment it seemed like some way there's a bit of truth in that video because say no behind every rumor there's a bit of truth yeah trust me so this time around both himself and his record label anonymous music have put up you know um, press release yes um and they are giving their own side of the story and this is not looking any funny both bad boy teams have it on his own page and same way goes to um, anonymous music hq which is the official instagram and do as well have these pictures and of course it's a lengthy one from both parties talking about um their side of it and of course bad boy teams has responded through his um, legal team that you know released the press release and that's how as well is on his page and this is says um just really part of it anonymous music centered entered into an exclusive five-year recording and performing contract the contract with Olori Yomi Oluwatimilei Timothy, aka Bad Boy Teams, the artist in 2019. By the exclusive nature of the contract, the artist is not permitted to, among other things, engage in features, collaborations, record of masters, songs, performance, or production of record records or recordings with persons other than the label without the consent or authorization of the label. So that means there was an agreement which should last for five years and it was signed in 2019 and we're just in 2020 and already you know there's been a back and forth between the artist and his record label at the moment and so the record label put this up on their instagram page with a caption that says um this is to notify the general public promoters producers booking agents and other stakeholders in the entertainment industry internationally and locally that anonymous music exclusively exclusively hones the recording and performing rights of artists bad boy teams anyone who deals with the artist or his manager without authorization approval or clearance from the record label does so at their own risk and the record label would not hesitate to enforce its legal and equitable reserved rights to the fullest extent of the law so this is them actually coming out to say that look it still belongs to us whatever 
probably releases a new song or you know one promotion company gets in to promote a song or you know maybe a record label international you know international record label wants to feature him they cannot do that except they go through anonymous music which according to them is signed a five-year um recording you know contract with them so um, bad white teams has come out to respond to this through his legal team and he also released um, a press release where um, he said this he said on the 17th of may 2021 um, armed police officer from the divisional police station federal sectoral phase one central business district abuja arrested our clients in accompanying of his elder brother he fed them allow Lori Yomi and his girlfriend at about 6 p.m. in Abuja. They did not only arrest him, but also assaulted and publicly paraded him in handcuffs like a common criminal. And based on his okay, suspicious petition, you firstly and maliciously made to the police over our client's termination of the artist's performance and recording agreement he entered with you on the 15th day of April 2019. So he says, we get the B, you instructed the deliberate recording of our client simulation in the hands of police and posted the offensive video on social media to wickedly and intentionally defame this person. So the video that made its way to social media, Bad Boy Team's um, you know, legal team is accusing Anonymous Music of being you know, in charge of that video coming to you know, the public. And so his legal team is using that as one of those things against him. And I miss this, Bad Boy Team has gone on to announce another record label you know, on his page. He has gone on to announce another record label that he now you know, belongs to. And um, of course, that has got a lot of people talking while the record label is still saying is with them. And I miss this. He has given a shout out to Davido Obi. Of course, we know Davido to be one person that comes through for a lot of these youngins in the Nigerian music industry whenever they have issues with you know, one person or the other, he always come through for them. So Bad Boy Times here has said that, you know, you know, it's issues that get tested, you know, who's there for you. But don't break while giving a shout out to Davido for looking out for him and you know you never go down King Obio. Yes. Yeah. So we're glad to know that. I mean the old, which means yeah, he was arrested at some point according to the release and of course Obio came through for him. Thank you, Obio. <laughs> Keep being nice to the guys, yeah. And moving on to the next news today is Simi. Um, of course, Mama DJ, yes, yeah, Simi as one person that talks as well online from her Instagram story to her Twitter um, page. She's always saying something, yeah. Remember just a couple of weeks ago, she went in and said, look, if you're following me on Instagram, because of my funny video, because you know she's someone who is quite playful. You see her playing even in the studio and all of that. But you do not support Simi as a brand. Please all follow me. So maybe you just feel like, could it be that you know the old followers she have and the reactions she gets, engagement on social media is not reflecting on her songs, you know, on streaming platforms? And she just like really. So why are you guys following me? Why are you guys commenting so much when I release song you do not support me? She asks them to unfollow her. But this time around she has gone on to talk about something. You know, lately a lot of people have been backlashing Naramali, so we don't know if this is actually for Naramali here, yeah? but she has come up to actually say something on an IG story saying that not everything, not all your opinion, you should see the light of the day. Leave some to yourself and the voices in your head. Of course, we've seen a lot of tweets or, you know, posts on Instagram that are relating to things like this ever since Naramali made some, you know, um, post on his fantasy on a couple of days ago that has been getting a lot of people to talk so probably simi is no joining of course she's a mother she has a daughter so yeah um she have a daughter yet yeah, so she could just be speaking up for herself and her daughter as well and saying that look not everything you actually think up in your head you should put outside for the public something should just stay with you although she did not tag anybody but maybe just maybe she's also joining other women to you know call out um, Naramali for some of the statements it's been making you know in the public lately but whatever it is you know that's the me side of it something is just a tandy your belly yep yep so this is where I'll be saying goodbye but of course so you don't miss more news like this click on the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and also on the notification bell and of course thank you for all you do for us thank you for the likes thank you for comments Thank you for telling people about Gosto TV. Please keep doing so. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Bye.